we're going to look at three different types of drop-down lists that you can have on a worksheet in Excel. On a worksheet here called Lists, we have a list of months, and that list I've named Month List. On the Data Entry Sheet, we'll try Data Validation first. So I've selected a cell, and on the Data tab, I'll click Data Validation. I'll choose to allow a list. And in here, I'll press the F3 key. And that shows a list of names in this workbook. So I'll select Month List, click OK, and click OK. Now a drop-down arrow appears, and I can select a month. I can only see eight months at a time but I can scroll down to see the rest. I'm going to next look at a form control drop-down. For that, I'll go across to the Developer tab and click Insert. And under Form Controls, I'll click the Combo box. My pointer changes to a cross, and I'm going to just draw a shape to the right here. After that appears, I can right click on it and click Format Control. For the input range, I'm going to type Month List. And for the cell link, that indicates where the selected item should go. And I'm just going to click on cell D5 here. We have 12 months, so I'll change the drop-down lines to 12. And click OK. So now, if I click away from that list, I can then click on the arrow and select a month. And you can just see the month number, 9, appears in that cell. Over here, we could use a formula to get the month name. The third kind of drop-down is an ActiveX control. And again, that's on the Developer tab. Click Insert and go down to ActiveX controls and click Combo Box. And we'll draw another rectangle. And for it, we'll click Properties. And a list of properties appears. We can select, instead of input, it's called list fill range. So I'll type month list here. And for the linked cell, we can't click on the cell, so I'm going to type C7 as the cell. I want it to go over here. The list rows we can change from 8 to 12. And for this type of uh, drop down box, we can change the font type as well. So right now it's a Calibri, and we will change that to Cambria. Instead of 11, we can make it a bit bigger, make it a 14, and click OK. And I'll close the properties. To work with this combo box, if I point to it now, I just get a four-headed arrow, so I can't select from it. The worksheet has gone into design mode, so I'll have to turn that off. So if I click, now I can click on the drop-down list and select a month. And for this, instead of a number, like we saw here, we get the month name from the combo box. So data validation, the drop-down arrow only shows when you click on the cell, and you can't change the font size, you can't change the number of rows. With the form control drop-down, the arrow always shows you can change the number of rows, but not the font size. And with the ActiveX control, you can change the font, number of rows, and it puts the value from the combo box into the worksheet.